So as a member of the management team, I would have chosen to let go of Sandra and to let go of Craig. Um, in regards to Sandra, there's really only one factor that came into play with my decision to let her go, and that was mainly just the poor performance. Um, I feel that no matter the specifics of an employee's personal life, if they've been there for a decent amount of time and they're just not performing the way you need them to and the way the company needs them to, um, and not only are they not adding value to the company, but they might even be subtracting value by with their poor performance. I think that it's definitely within the employer's right and they have good reason to let go, go of that employee. And in regards to her personal um, situation, there's a potential that she was not thriving in the position within our organization because it was just not the job for her. So letting go of her could also potentially end up being a good thing for her as well, um, encouraging her to find a different job that might better suit her and um, she might exhibit better performance at. And then for Craig, I based my my decision to let him go, I was kind of going back and forth between Craig and the employee that had average performance that had only been there for a year. I think it was Amy. Um, yeah, Amy was only there for a year and was average. Um, so at first I thought her because she was only there for a short time and she only had average performance. But then I was like, well, if she's only been there for a year then she might have just not had time yet to get acclimated to the position and really get a feel for what the job requirements are and like blossom into a well-rounded productive staff member. And I looked at Craig and I was like, well, he has the same performance level as she does. And he's been there for 10 years like that. He should not have the same performance level as somebody who's a first year in the company, in my opinion. So I decided to let go of Craig because I felt like his skill level should have been much more impressive based on the number of years he has spent at the company. And also um, because of his high pay rate. I feel like those two factors of his pay rate and his years at the company would, should reflect within his skill level and it should have been much higher than it was. So I didn't think it was fair to keep Craig on staff when he's making 60K, he's been a part of the company for 10 years, and he definitely has had time to understand his job expectations. Um, and yet he still has the same skill level as a first year employee who's making a fraction of his salary. So yeah, I decided to let go of Sandra and to let go of Craig.